Next in the Vintage EQ collection is the Vintage Tube EQ. No prizes for guessing what this is based off of. But if you're wondering, it's a highly sought after Paltec Program EQ and Paltec Midrange EQ combined into one interface. So you kind of get two EQs in one. As you can see, they're two separate engage switches or on-off switches. And of course, like we saw in the previous EQ, we have the drive option with the different models, the phase option to switch to linear phase mode, and overall volume control. So let's just try this out. I'm running it through the same mix as the previous EQ. Now one really unique aspect of the Baltec was that you could boost and attenuate at the same frequency. So what ends up happening is that you boost the frequency, but you attenuate slightly after. This creates a little scoop to make room for the boost. Now you're probably noticing that it's not a very transparent EQ. It's definitely coloring up the sound a lot. But that's the idea of this EQ. In fact, this entire collection. Use it only when you want to add some interesting color to a mix. If you want something a bit more transparent, you might just want to go for the regular channel EQ. Again, just like the vintage console EQ, all these dials are continuous. So you can be a bit more detailed as compared to the actual hardware. So that's not necessarily a good thing. The charm of a lot of these classic analog hardware devices was that it was limiting in many ways. But they did what they did really, really well. Makes your mixing tasks a lot easier. And that's why they're still highly sought after. I'm now just using the low peak, high peak EQ. The upper EQ is off. So you can choose to just use one of the two. Again, we have the same three output drive modes, borrowing from the other two EQs. Cool. So that's the Vintage Tube EQ.